Do you enjoy reading big, bulky textbooks? If you do, that's great. But unlike you, when I was in residency, when I would read these big, giant textbooks, I would gloss over and kind of read the same thing over and over again. I'd write notes and nothing would really stick. I was learning what type of educational modalities best work for me. And one of the best ones was MREM. And that's why I'm working with them. I've always looked up to them. Stuart Swadron, Mel Herbert, Jess Mason, Mizo Morrison, all these people are the lead experts in MRAP series known as C3 or Core Comprehensive Curriculum. And the cool thing about C3 is that Corpendium Chapters or MRAP's online textbook actually form the outline of each episode with real patient case presentations, including actual live recording in the emergency department, actual images in the show notes, and outcomes of each case. It does a deep dive into all of these chief complaints and very common diagnoses in the emergency department. It kind of sticks to the signs and symptoms and what we should be looking out for from that initial presentation to our diagnostic workup to our disposition. And it's all talked about with these monsters of medical education. And when you're listening to these real patient presentations, really try to imagine yourself in that room and think through your differential. Act like you're there in that powwow with people like Jess Mason. That's how you really get the most out of these episodes. When I was in residency, I listened through C3 at least four times by the time I graduated. And every time I always picked up something. I credit Stu and Mel for most of my emergency medicine knowledge. For example, one of my all-time favorite C3 episodes was on everybody's least favorite complaint, and that's dizziness. I don't know how many times I've listened to this, but it is pure gold in the emergency department. It is an invaluable resource. I recommend it to everyone, and even as someone who is continuing to learn and will always continue to learn for the rest of my career, I still listen to these episodes. Shh, don't tell anyone.